Okay, YouTube. Uh, this is my attempt to make ballistics gelatin. Um, pretty easy. There's a lot of guys on YouTube. First, you're going to need this. Knox gelatin mix. It's in the bakery aisle at Walmart. Uh, I bought a whole box, which is uh, 12 of them. There's a couple things that you need to know. First, uh, make sure you're using cold water. Use one packet at a time. I know it's time consuming, but uh, you don't want clumps. You kind of spread it out. It'll dissolve. Uh, if you pour it right in the middle, you're going to get clumps, and then you got to work them out. It just takes more time. It's kind of a time-consuming process anyway, because first you got to mix it all in cold water, and then you got to heat it up, get it to like a, a light boil so that it... Uh, starts to solidify. And once it turns to gelatin, not exactly sure how long that process will take, but uh, once it turns to gelatin, you're going to take it off the burner, put it in the fridge for three hours, heat it up again, stir it, and then put it back in the fridge for 24 hours. So, uh, I'm making a big batch because a friend of mine is giving me a paintball gun in order to get the paintball gun, I have to make him some ballistic gel. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. So, I'm making ballistic gel for him. Um, you want one ounce to two cups of water, um, at least for this size. You can mix it uh, one ounce to one cup, but uh, it really doesn't go very far. And uh, this stuff's not super cheap. Um, one individual box is $1.25. So, with the pan and this entire box of Knox, I'm at like 15 bucks for this size uh, ballistic gelatin using two cups of water. So if I were to do one cup to one ounce, which one ounce is actually just one of these single boxes, if I was to do one cup to one ounce, um, it would basically double that price, um, right around 25, 26 bucks, which is a lot of money for something that you're going to destroy with some bullets in about 20 minutes. 25 minutes, depending on how many rounds you plan on putting through it in a day. Um, so, needless to say, I would uh, I would do two cups to one ounce. Um, if you don't like the consistency when you do your next batch, you can go ahead and spend the money and make a bigger um, batch. Um, I'm actually going to pick up the camera so you can see what it's starting to look like. It's kind of got like a light tannish, yellowish color to it, um, right now anyway. And it will get a little bit darker once I add the other three packets, but we're going to start with that and see how it goes. Um, I personally like it a little lighter so you can see the bullet trail a little bit better. Um, depending on how you're shooting it, if you're shooting it from the side or if you're shooting it you know, straight on, like you want a torso type of thing. Um, of course, thickness-wise, you're not going to really get penetration depth just because you're not going to really be able to tell how far it goes in because this is only you know probably two two and a half inches deep um, unfortunately but if you want to make it thicker you can um, you can buy uh, a tote or something and make it in a tote uh, obviously you don't want to cook it in the tote but um, you could make it in two batches heat it up uh, make two big things of this on both sides of the stove and heat it up and pour it in a big tote and you'd have a basically a torso size gelatin. Uh, I'm not sure how you're going to fit that in your fridge so uh, you'd have to figure that part out. But This is oh, we got two boxes left here. Um, like I said, please don't add it all at once. Um, you can if you want to um, but it's going to kind of suck very first box I did, I kind of poured it all in the center. It took me like an extra five minutes to get all the little clumps out, so I learned pretty quick you don't want to do that. Um, just kind of spread it out, mix it in. Like I said, there's 12 boxes of this, 24 cups of water, um, and this is called a giant size roaster. I got it. Or, I'm sorry, I'm actually completely wrong. It's a uh, giant size pasta pan from Hefty. 
got it at Walmart too. It was like two forty eight or something like that. Not too bad. Like I said, I'm training for a paintball gun, like five hundred paintballs, so can't complain. Uh, <coughs> stuff kind of stinks. So uh, if you have kids in the house or something, I wouldn't necessarily have them running around while you're trying to make this stuff. Um, luckily, my wife and kid are not here right now. Um, <coughs> my wife would be complaining because it kind of gets in your lungs. It really does not smell the greatest. Um, so we're going to turn the burner on to between low and medium. I'm going to set mine just right below medium. Get it heated up. Stir it really, really, really good. Um, it's already getting kind of like thicker, definitely thicker than water. Um, the gelatin will actually expand in cold water, um, but the point is you want it dissolved. Um, if you don't get it dissolved, when you, if you add it to hot water, you're going to get humongous clumps, and it will take you forever to get that stuff worked out because you're going to have to sit there and like mash every single clump, and it's a lot harder to dissolve once it's hot. So, just a few hints. It'll help you in the process. Like I said, 24 cups of water and uh, 12 boxes of the Knox gelatin. Um, so far, this is looking a lot like the stuff I've seen on YouTube. People shoot. Uh, I'm not going to put any organs or anything in it. I've seen people put hearts and livers and stuff. So Pretty cool stuff, but uh, this is for a friend. He just wants something to shoot at. So, um, He's going to take a video of it for, so I can post the video on YouTube to see how well it, it holds up to the uh, 40 cal. He's got a Springfield XD40, so we're, uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to actually turn this off while this heats up a little bit, and then I'll turn it back on once it starts to solidify a little bit so you can actually see what it looks like when it's starting to turn into gelatin. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, so... Uh Here's a lesson that uh, we might want to learn that I was not aware of. Um, apparently, these aluminum pans will not boil water on the stove. They just want to burn. Um, so cook it in something else. Uh, I have a nice large pan up there that uh, we will use next time. Um, it should still work. Um, it might just have some debris in it. Um, luckily, this isn't my batch, so it doesn't make me that angry. But yeah, so don't screw it up like I did. Um, obviously, this is not going to be the best consistency ever, but like I said, it's got to be left in the in the fridge for a while. Right now, it's just got to sit and cool until it's until it's ready to put in the fridge because there's no way to put it in the fridge right now. But uh, yeah, so it's got to sit in the fridge. Um, probably won't do the reheat. I'll probably just put it in the fridge and hope hope it sets up. Um, if it doesn't, I guess I got to make another batch, which kind of sucks. But um, it should set up. So. Um, We'll see. I might uh, I'll take a quick video of the finished product, kind of show you the consistency. Uh, but that's about it, because this batch didn't turn out so well. There's a lot of burns, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, all right, we'll uh, we'll post the the actual ballistic test just just for fun, which is really just my buddy blowing this thing to pieces. But um, anyway, we'll uh, at least post some shooting so you don't. You don't see this mess. Peace out, YouTube. Hey, everybody. Uh, YouTube, uh, sorry about that. Didn't realize how loud my uh, washer was. Um, anyway, here's the ballistics gel. I'm going to kind of give you a quick view of uh, just how hard this stuff is. I mean, it's uh, pretty solid stuff, and this is with two cups of water. Um, so if you want to make it even more solid, a little more dense, um, I'm sure a cup of water would uh, make the gelatin a little bit more solid. But this stuff seems like it's going to be fun to shoot. Uh, like I said, the guy I'm uh, making this for said he's going to videotape it for me and send it to me. So uh, you guys can see, as you can see, it's not liquidy anymore. Um, a little frozen there in the back if you if you can see that. Uh, my refrigerator got a little too cold, but uh, that should thaw pretty good. But Anyway. This is the ballistics gel. As you can see, yeah, that's where I burn it. Uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna shoot it anyway. Um, so, just for future reference, don't cook this type of pan on the stove. Uh, cook it in an actual pan. So, anyway, well, uh, I will post the video of, of how well this stuff does. Uh, I think he's gonna peel it out of here and uh, cut.
cut it and stack it just to kind of get a little bit better uh, video. Um, it's really cool stuff. Uh, like you can see it coming out pretty easily here, actually. But uh, anyway, all right. Well, uh, I will show you uh, that video later. Hopefully, he'll uh, get it this weekend, and I'll have it posted pretty soon. All right. Peace out.